Hi, and thanks for joining us. Today, today's notes is going to be on Lesson 7.2, Complementary and Supplementary Angles. For today's notes, you're going to have questions 1 through 8 filled out. In order to get your credit for today's notes, you need to make sure that all of your questions are correctly written. Otherwise, you'll be sent back to correct it. So just make sure that you're paying attention and writing down everything that you need to write down. This first page is just going to show us what complementary and supplementary angles are. Two angles that are complementary when their two measurements equal 90 degrees. So here is a picture of what those look like. Two angles are supplementary angles when they measure 180 degrees. Again, here's a picture of what they look like. Go ahead and take the time now to pause the video, copy everything that you see on the slide, including the pictures, and then once you're done, click play to try some questions. Up next, we have just ways that you can figure out if something is complementary, supplementary, or neither. Remember, complementary equals 90 degrees and supplementary should equal 180 degrees. If they don't equal either one of those, then you're just going to write neither. You're just going to watch for this one, so don't write anything down. Letter A says we have a 70 degree angle and a 110 angle. If I add these two angles together, I get 180 degrees. This means this is a supplementary angle. For letter B, I have a 41 and a 49 degree angle. If I add these two together, I get 90 degrees. This means it's going to be a complementary angle. For letter C though, you can all, all already tell that it's not a straight line. But for the sake of double checking in math, 128 adding 62, I get 190. So that would be considered neither because it is neither a complementary 90 degree or supplementary 180 degrees. What you're going to do now is you are going to pause the video and you will be writing your answers to these. Is it complementary? supplementary or neither. You're going to try questions 3, 4, and 5. Make sure they are correct. When you're done, click play to go on. The next thing that you're going to see in your homework tonight is again telling whether it's complementary or supplementary and finding the value of x. So you're going to watch me do these two. Again, you're just watching. You're not writing down right now. Once you're done watching these two examples, then I'm going to get you to try the two questions on the next two pages. For letter A, I notice that there is a square in the corner. So this one is definitely a complementary angle, meaning it is 90 degrees. I know that it's going to be equal to 90 degrees, so the true statement that I'd write about it would be 4x plus 36 equals 90 degrees. We kind of looked at this yesterday as well with adjacent and vertical angles. To solve for x, I'm going to undo addition or subtraction first. So I'm subtract 36 from both sides. These two 36's will cancel out, so all I'm left with 40 is 4x on the left side. Over here I do have to borrow to subtract. 10 minus 6 is 4, 8 minus 3 is 5. Now all I have to do is divide by 4 to get x by itself. We probably will come up with a decimal here because I don't think 4 goes into 54 evenly. 4 goes into 5 once with 1 left over. 4 goes into 14 3 times with 2 left over. And 4 goes into 25 times. So x will be equal to 13.5. Okay, the next one shows a supplementary angle. 
Remember, supplementary angles look like a straight angle, and they should be equal to 90 de 180 degrees. So I'm going to write a true statement about this. x plus x minus 4 equals 180 degrees. What I can do here maybe is get the 4 away from the x's. So I'm going to add 4 to uh, the other side. So now I have this. x plus x is equal to 184. So something plus something is equal to 184. Maybe again too I can combine like terms and that's just going to be 2x. Let's make that a little bit easier for you. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Um, 184 cut in half will be 92. So for this one, I'm going to write that up here. X is equal to 92. If you need to, you can pause the video, rewind it, just so you get a little better idea of it. But what you're going to try are these next two questions by yourself. So again, you're going to take the time to pause the video. You need to make sure that you write what type of angle it is. So this angle is complementary or supplementary, depending on what it looks like. Remember, complementary is 90 degrees, supplementary is 180. And then you're going to try to find the value of x. So what is x equal to? Okay, go ahead and take the time now to pause. Try it. Once you're done, click play, and you're going to try one more after that. Here's your next question, number seven. Tell whether the angles are complementary or supplementary, and then find the value of x. Similar to question six, you're first going to tell me this angle is complementary or supplementary, and then you're going to tell me what does x equal to. So the value of x is what? Go ahead and take the time now to pause, work it out with your partner. When you're done, go ahead and click play for your last question. Number eight is the last question that you will try. It says draw a pair of adjacent supplementary angles so that one angle has a measure of 60 degrees. You won't get a protractor for this one, so you're just going to basically estimate what do you think 60 degrees look like and make sure that the other angle that you draw will be adjacent to the 60 degree angle and it'll make it supplementary. Go ahead and take the time now to pause really quick, answer this question, then click play to end the video. This is going to be the end of our note, so just make sure that you have all eight of those things correctly written down. The two vocabulary terms with pictures and then the six different questions about complementary and supplementary angles. If not, I'm going to send you back to retry it and correct your mistakes. Please make sure you come show me your notes to get credit for today's class. And then if there's time still left over, you can go ahead and start on homework, which is on page 280, numbers 3 through 16. Thanks for tuning in.